Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I read, beloved, seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. So this read is for the Smurf family and the TikTokers. We're reading from, this is Monday, June the 13th, 2022. We'll be reading Revelations, the ninth chapter through verses 6 through 21 and chapter 10 and chapter 10 through. And the scripture I want you to really pay attention to in Revelations 9 and 8, and it says, And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. There is a difference between the way a woman wears her hair and the way a man wears his hair. There should be TikTokers. So let's read. Reading from Revelations, the ninth chapter, and the tenth verses, and it reads, And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die. And death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses, prepared unto battle. And on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold. And their faces were as the face of men. And they had hair as the hair of women. And their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were, breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions. And there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. And in the great Greek tongue, his name hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the one third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and jack jacinth and brimstones, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and stone and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouth. For the power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents, and had heads, with them they do hurt, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that, the, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor their fornication, nor of their thefts. Chapter 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head. And his face was, as it were, the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot upon the earth, and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth, and when he cried, and when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lift up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are 
and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me and said, Go, and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Chapter 11. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel said, and the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple leave out. And make and measure it not, for it is given unto Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, Fire proceedeth out of their mouth, and devour their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street, just like it's been doing during this corona, of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves, just like COVID. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these true prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader of this precious and sacred, exciting, invigorating, uh, challenging to even read word of revelation so it's so much full of what's going on now and it's scary it could be but when you know god you ain't got to be scared just trust him we are smurf club praise god we're not going to do that anymore i'm just going to start reading them and giving them up to free that's what the lord got me doing so we are smurf international ministry seven minute read family seven minute read follows just seven minute read faithful folk we do broadcast live monday through friday pacific standard time at 7 p.m we've been off this week but we will be back. YouTube and Facebook, find us on Pamela Dops and all of these that you're reading will now be free to you on YouTube under Pamela Dops and Zoom whenever we go and whenever I do a Zoom, that's the ID, that's the password. We do broadcast across Instagram, Tango, Twitch, Twitter, Big O, Live Me, Meet Me, uh, and Fanbase. Any donation that the Lord lays across your heart, please feel free to send it to Dollar sign Mama Pam 23, paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. Zell is for Mackenzie Scott Bezo. Looking for that $7 million check to start a transitional home here in Texas for little dark skinned colored girls like me. Because they say here in Texas, no one wants the African American. I do. I want a transitional home for little young pregnant girls uh, that are in transition. Send that. $7 million check to Pamela Dobson, 0723 at gmail.com. And I won't just limit it to McKenzie. Here on TikTok, if there's any TikTokers that want to donate and start sending to help support my cause, please do. I am Mama Pam, and I do like green eggs and ham. Until the next read, God bless.